Hello and welcome back to Lord Fat Gaming Plays Wasteland Remastered. I'm your host, Lord Fat Taste Wasteland Remastered video. We're gonna do the Agriculture Center and we're gonna do the Rail Nomads Camp. Yeah, we're gonna do all the investigations. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Wasteland content like this. And do not forget to hit that notification bell to be updated on my videos and more. Now, in the last video right here, I did high pull, finish all those investigations. Poor Jackie is dead. Yeah, I left this body in high pull as an example. Well, I had a digital, but still the four of us is fine so let me give everybody a quick update off screen i went back to uh quartz sell some stuff i found out i got some leather jackets all four of them and decided to equip them and they look good also i got uh those axes yeah that's why with the quartz off screen now i'm gonna level up show everybody you need to level up this is like a really cool game i mean come on you level up in this game and it's really neat there you go i'm all powerful this is a uh, great right here so we're all done leveling up, and I'm going to show everybody uh, some uh, good news. Now you see right here, I uh, still got my numbers right there the same. I'm going to get perception up to two in this video, so we're going to do that. So we're going to the Agriculture Center. I'm going to show everybody how to do it. Do not go forward, or else you're kind of uh, screwed on that. So just do like I'm doing, just keep on moving back and forth. Let them uh, pelt the fruit at you, whoever's doing it, because guess what? You can get that perception skill up. See, we got one already, so we got more to uh, do. Just keep on running back and forth. I found out you can only get to two. Something tells me I have to go somewhere else in order to get that up or find a way to uh, skill level it up. I have plenty of points, so I'll probably be able to do that. Plus, you're getting your uh, walking achievement right here, which is good. So get everybody's uh, perception up so this way in case you don't spot something somebody else uh, does. So we're just going to keep on going, keep on moving. Yeah, see? Now I'm going to check everybody out. And look like everybody's perception is up. That was my uh, main goal of this video for skill increase. So now I'm going to go over here and I'll resume the uh, story. So let's do it. In the shadow of an enormous satellite tracking dish stands the old man. Over a hundred years old, he is still vigorous and bright of eye, although he rambles incoherently at times. The farmers remove their hats as they approach and wait for him to speak. Frowning, deep in thought, he stares at what appear to be the remains of a 15-foot-tall carrot. He holds a long shaft of broken metal in one hand and mumbles something about wascally wabbits that he had to beat away with his best rake. Miguel explains that you've come to help. The old man studies your weapons and tells you that he doesn't think your pea shooters will do any good against the armored varmints, but that you're welcome to try. If you succeed, he wants you to come back and see him. There's something he'd like to show you. Free to roam the veggie field, you head towards the carrot patch. From a distance, you hear the old man warn you, Watch out for Harry, the bunny master. Now this area is full of combat. Our main objective here is Harry the Bunny Master. Yeah, we got to go kill him, so we're gonna do that. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, butcher him right now. Well, 
Harry is dead. And yeah, Harry is a fertilizer. And there you go. We got ourselves a nice steam achievement right there. So when you uh, kill Harry right here, you uh, get that. Plus the old man will invite you into a cellar. Please accept the offer because that cellar is uh, great. So what we're going to do next is go to the cellar and collect our reward. Now, after that event, it is time to collect our reward right here. Speak with the old man, and he'll uh, let you in. Now, he's over 100 years old. Most likely, he uh, witnessed the events that happened. Yeah, the events, those events. So, we'll go over here. At this point, this is just like a loot-up section right here. I mean, come on. This is, like, really good. This is why I like this game right here. It's little things like this. So, yeah, I'm checking out my investigations. Those are officially uh, done and over with. This is uh, great news here. I mean, come on. This is like wonderful news. So we're just going to keep on moving over here. Just keep on looking and searching. All right. Nothing here. Now, you just want to search everywhere. I mean, just search everywhere. I mean, you might find something. And just open up all the boxes because sometimes you'll see a glowing uh, money bag. And when you uh, do find it, yeah. Yeah, see, we already found it. There's some loot here. And just loot everything you can. If there's extra uh, pistols, go ahead and loot them and sell them because you're... Not going to need them anymore, seriously. But still, this is like really cool here. This is like jackpot moment here. I'm serious. We're, uh, I'm just going to go over this uh, probably one more time or a few more times. All right. Yes. So, loot everything up. Once you're done looting everything up, get out of here. We're going to use the uh, cave exits most likely. Yeah. So, this way I'll show everybody the caves here so you can buy and sell stuff from the uh, shop now. Yeah. Once you uh, complete the... Uh, Harry, uh, kill, you will be able to, uh, buy and sell. And you want to sell fruit here because that's a lot of money you'll, uh, gain from it. See, the uh, old man's asking us if you want to go in the cellar again. Nope. At this point, yeah, I decided to get out of here. I decided to pick the locks too. Yeah, you just want to pick every lock too. We're free to, uh, do it because we, uh, able to. And, oh, right, this is, uh, cool here. So this is, like, really great. So I'm just going to try attempt to uh, sell some stuff. And if it doesn't work, I'll probably use the caves or something else. Still, this is the uh, guy right here that will uh, let you uh, sell some fruit. If you get some fruit from Emneys, go ahead and do it. So you know what I'm going to do right now before going to the uh, caves? I'm going to go off screen, go to quartz, and uh, sell some uh, junk. I'll return. Yep, I'm all good and ready to go. Loot everything up. Now here's the thing. We're going to do some simple B&E right here. This is uh, really a uh, simple... So basically, uh, get your lockpicks out, have your character who's a good uh, at lockpicks, at least like one point, and there you go. We're just going to loot everything up here. At this point in the video, we're going to be committing some uh, crimes before we go into the uh, Rail Nomad camp. Oh, yes, we are. And here's the thing. Sell the fruit here. You have fruit, sell it here because you get some good money. This is like great starter money. Enough for you to get those Kevar uh, shirts. Yeah. You want those eventually one day. So what we're going to do right now is just uh, lockpick the door here. Strange thing is I have not increased my lockpicks yet. Despite the fact I already did some already. Oh well, not upset. Okay, we can't carry any more. So we're going to have to switch to another character and we're going to do the same thing again. Loot everything up. There you go. And we're going to go ahead and sell some stuff here. Yeah, we're going to sell some fruit. I'm sure everybody out to make some uh, good money here in this video right here before going to the uh, AG uh, caves. Yeah. We're going to do that. So there you go. We're uh, done here. And we're going to do is uh, see if, if there's anything else. No. Okay. It's just uh, useless stuff to uh, buy. So we'll go over here. What we're going to do right now is get in the caves right here. Once we are inside the uh, caves. Yeah. We're going to kill some Emnies. And when you exit the caves, you'll be outside of the AG center. And you can come back here at any uh, time via the front entrance. You just have to go through the caves a long way again. So let's go over here. And I'll do some uh, combat first.
The AG caves are full of enemies here. Yeah, we're going to have to fight our way out on some of them. Some of them I'll skip. So here we go. Well, we defeated some foes so far. This is a uh, great right here. All right, we're getting some nice loot here. This is uh, really good. At this point, I decided, thanks to my perception here, yeah, I'm gonna exit and avoid uh, combat at all costs. Now, here's the thing right here. When you exit the caves, yeah, you're not gonna be uh, going through the caves again. When you enter a town, you go through the front door. Great news is there's some fruit we're gonna sell. Yeah, I'm teaching everybody how to make money in this video. Because, yeah, it's worth it. So, we're going to try to see if we need to sell anything else. Nope, that is it. Now, if you want to farm fruit, you go ahead and kill the rodents here. Yeah, that's what you want to do. Now, next up is the Rail Nomad Camp. That's the second part of this video right here. I promise not one investigation's done, but two. Yeah. Now, next up, what I'm going to do is do the visa part of the uh, investigation. Yeah, you see here, Breakman gave us a visa card. Yeah, that uh, credit card. Yeah that credit card that no longer is in use in this game and oops i just have a hairbag fell yeah you gotta be careful here uh touch the river yeah you go uh, down so what i'm going to do is uh rest up before I actually going to courts right here and cause some trouble in the uh, bar <laughs> Yep, we got ourselves the official quartz welcome inside this uh, bar right here. And they have some good loot. Um, some good loot for me to sell. I remember I have to, I have to get the uh, pistols at least up to level 2 or 3. Then I'll sell them all. I mean, they're useless after that. They're terrible weapons anyways. I mean, most of the time they uh, miss, but still. I'm going to just do that. So, um, at this point, I was trying to talk to this guy right here. Unfortunately, I uh, goofed up on it. Yeah, head crusher. Yeah, I was supposed to stay there and just give him the uh, visa card, but yeah, I decided that, you know what, after my fumbling around, I'm just going to kill some foes. Yeah, I was exploring around kill some foes. At this point in the video, before I actually did uh, start this turn-in right here, I decided to go ahead and kill some foes, then collect my uh, thoughts, 
and then uh, turn the credit card. Yeah, I'm still learning this game, everybody, and this game is so much fun. I mean, there's a lot of good things you could do, like for example, being up punks. Now, henceforth, these uh, punks are not punks. They are posers. We're going to kill some posers here, everybody. This is all for the uh, punks who are actually uh, cool people, boys and girls. So our next part of this video right here is just exploring, which is really cool. Oh, wow. There's some uh, writings on the wall, on the table. That might be a hint here. So I'll have to pay attention to that when I actually uh, go into courts and liberate it from these uh, posers. So we're going to go here and look around and just keep on looking. At this point, I'm in explorer mode before uh, talking to Head Crusher. And this guy right here looks like he's important. So I think if you uh, type something wrong, I'm not certain. I'm just going to leave this alone. I'll just uh, leave that alone. Yeah, see, yeah, I'll just leave that alone for uh, now. So what I'm going to do next is uh, cause some trouble against these posers here by the bar and take care of uh, business. That's it for uh, clearing out the posers for now, including some strange folks here. So here's how you actually uh, give the uh, Visa card while I'm attempting to do it. Simple, you sit in this chair right here, go to your inventory, whoever uh, has the uh, card, hit the, uh, you, the Visa button and uh, just hit that right there. And then when you hit the Visa, do not push forward or anything like that. Do not give it right here. Instead, sit on the chair across and then hit the uh, space bar. Or use it on your uh, self. That's what they uh, call it. That's probably a different key on the Xbox One. Yeah, no directional buttons, please. Just all you need to do is just sit down across from Head Crusher. Use the uh, Visa card. And then uh, we'll be able to uh, advance. Yeah, you're supposed to do that. So I'm going to do this now. I'm going to let Head Crusher uh, cutscene roll on. Head Crusher says, thank you. Go to the Atchison's tent and tell them Caterpillar. Head Crusher is a cool guy. He gave us the password Caterpillar. Yeah, you're supposed to deliver at the uh, one of the uh, tents actually in the uh, Rail Nomads camp. Yeah, this is like really cool though. Back in the day, you probably have to write that down. And yeah, here we go again. Time to swim. But still, you're supposed to write it down back in the day on something called pen and paper. Now these days, you have notepad. You could write it down on that too or actually type it up. But still, you all get the uh, picture. So we're going to the uh, Desert Nomads, which is the Rail Nomads camp right here. Yeah, time recording. I wasn't uh, sure where this was at, but still, I was just uh, checking around. I'm typing in the uh, password. Something tells me here 
if this is if, if I remember right, this is the wrong tent, you probably have to come back later on. This is like really cool. Games like this, you sometimes have to touch up on areas if they do that. But still, this is a, so much fun so far. I'm enjoying this game like really uh, good. It's like a golden opportunity I missed since uh, when I was a child, unfortunately. Yeah, then again, I was uh, busy on the uh, NES though, but still. It was a golden opportunity I missed, but this is like a really fun game now. I am glad I'm playing it. So, anyways, you go to the uh, furthest west uh, tent right here. Type in the words Caterpillar right here, and you're in Light Flint. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and watch this cutscene. The guard looks you over closely and then tells you to wait outside as he disappears into the tent. You hear a brief, muffled conversation, and the guard returns with another man. The newcomer introduces himself as the headman of the Atchison clan. He understands that you've done a great favor for his brother. He dismisses the guard and motions you closer. He explains that they keep no treasure here, but he will give you directions to a secret cache. Here, take this shovel, he instructs you. Stand on the south rail, west end. Take twelve paces to the south. Dig, and you shall be rewarded. The guard returns, and the headman bids you good day. Now, in order to finish this investigation at the Rail Nomads camp right here, you actually will need to uh, dig up the uh, buried treasure. Or in this case, the buried desert treasure. So you're supposed to go on the south rail, uh, what do you call it, tracks? Not this one right here. I made a mistake on that. But still, you're supposed to go on the southern one and then go uh, 12 paces south right here. I mean, this is like really uh, cool here. You get to explore it. You're going to see me goof up a few times, but... Once again, I'll put timestamps in the video for that too. So this way, you'll uh, skip ahead towards that solution and you know where to uh, dig. Yeah, see, you're supposed to go 12 paces and uh, go ahead and pop your sho shovel, whoever has it, and use it. They'll uh, dig it up. No skill uses, just hit the space bar on the PC, which is where you're at, the center of the point. It's on the Xbox One. I am not sure if anybody's an Xbox uh, One uh, player, yeah, you can point that out to everybody else. I'll allow it. Is besides, we're a community here at Lord Fenton Gaming. We help each other out, and it's great when we do that. From time to time, I like to see that when others help people out on my uh, videos. It's really uh, cool, actually. So, we're going to keep on moving, just keep on digging. Oops, I went a little bit too far. But still, I'm going to try to do this right right here. I'm trying to do it correct. Yeah, see, I was trying to count on this one right here. It's not this one. I think it's the uh, south one. You start from there, and you uh, count. So, you know what? We're going to attempt to uh, do this now, and hopefully rightfully so. And here's another tip for me while I'm here. This is actually a nice place to uh, get some experience points. Really nice. This is really uh, good, too, in case, say, three or four uh, rangers are up there in experience points, and your uh, fourth one isn't, well, everybody evades, and then uh, that fourth one uh, goes and kills the enemies. In this game, yeah, they do uh, do that exactly. So let me see if it's this is right right here it is not. So what I'm gonna do is uh, probably get into combat. I'll return afterwards.
After combat, you want to dig here exactly. Go ahead and use your shovel. Whoever has the shovel, go ahead and dig right there on yourself or right where you're at. Once you are done digging, all you need to do is loot everything up. And then when you uh, face the uh, rail uh, thieves here, this will end the investigation once they are dead. So let's take care of them. There you go. Once they are dead, you have finished the investigation. Now, next part of this video right here, we're going to get out of here. I'll end the video once I am outside the Rail Nomads camp. Overall, this is like a pretty good uh, investigation right here. It was really fun, and it was well worth the rewards right here. I mean, you got some extra money from it. So now the next part right here is after checking out the journal, which all three of those are done, we're going to exit uh, the Rail Nomads camp and end the video uh, there. So let me give everybody a nice recap for today's uh, Wasteland Remaster video. We did the Agriculture Center investigation by killing the uh, Bunny Master. We delivered the Visa card and Quartz, came back to the Rail Nomads camp here, got us some free loot and investigations over with. In our next video, we're going to take care of Quartz and its uh, problem. This is it for my Wasteland Remaster video. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day or night.